Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I'd like to do today guys is show you how to create, create a rope pattern brush in Adobe Illustrator. A really cool idea that you can use across many forms of graphic design ranging from logos to borders of leaflets, for example. All you need to do, follow the steps that I show you today and I guarantee you'll be able to create something really modern and fresh and innovative uh, with these steps that I show you. So first of all, what we need to do is use our rectangle tool here. I'm just going to make sure there's no fill on the uh, fill, and we're going to make sure that we have a stroke. So I'm just going to use that arrow in between, like so. Let's create a rectangle, like so. I'm just going to increase the uh, size of the stroke to probably around five points. Now, what I need to do is create some curves on the corners. So I'm going to use my direct selection tool, select this anchor point here, and then what I'm going to do is press shift because I also want to select that one as well. I'm just going to bring these all the way into the middle to create a shape like so. Okay. Just need to quickly rotate this now. So it's going to come to the corner. Press shift when you do that also as well because it will pop 15 degrees for me. And now I'm at the right point for me to continue. I'm just going to duplicate this across using the keyboard shortcut of option click and drag for me as a Mac user or alt click and drag for Windows users. And press shift as well to keep it nice and straight in line. I'm going to duplicate it to a point about there. Okay. So now I'm going to select everything. And what I need to do is outline the stroke. So I'm going to come to object, path, and outline the stroke, which would then allow me to use the shape builder. And I'm just going to build this into one whole shape. Okay. I should make sure I get rid of these extra pits here. Wonderful. Now, what I'm going to do is use the rectangle tool. And I'm going to come around here, let's say. Let's just quickly swap the fill and the stroke around again with that arrow. And let's say probably sort of like further in there, let's say. Like that there. Okay. Now let's select everything because I need to get rid of what's on the uh, left and the right hand side. So yet again, use my shape builder. To remove using the shape builder, you need to press option, click and drag if you're a Mac user. For Windows, it's alt, click and drag. And I'm just going to select that rectangle now and press backspace to delete. And now I'm at a good point to start my brush. So I'm going to select everything like so. And we're going to come to our uh, brushes window. Always, if you don't find it in your workspace, it's always situated in window brushes. And then I'm going to come through with it selected, use the plus sign here, and we're going to create a pattern brush. Then we press OK. And as you can see now, I've created my rope pattern brush. So now if I just press OK, I'm pretty happy with the um, settings here. Make sure you have stretch to fit stroke length. I want no spacing. And we're going to keep the scale fixed. And now I press OK. So now if I select everything here, let's just press backspace. Use my ellipse tool. Let's press shift to create a nice perfect ellipse there. Do that again. And we're going to swap the fill and the stroke around. Let's apply my rope brush. Now it's a little bit too big, so I need to double click it. And let's bring the scale down now a tad. Let's turn preview on. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create a rope pattern brush within Adobe Illustrator. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.